If you're a usual mobile gamer and appreciate quality over passing time, having to connect to Wi-Fi could be a real pain when you just want to play. Thankfully, that is a problem we can fix. Here's over 20 amazing single-player games you must try while offline. Let's go. Frankly, there is around 100 no more good games on the Play Store that are actually made as if these developers chose quality over content. Rival Stars at number 1 is definitely one of the top 10 in that list. And considering it has actually been out for years, it's still right up there with AAA mobile games in quality and replay. I'd say even better than any other sports game out there on the Play Store right now. It's a horse racing game though not for everyone, but definitely the pioneer in its own kind. Number two, we have a puzzle adventure short game. And here's a story about two friends that features time traveling components. Well, something going by the name The Gardens Between. Garden Between is a paid game. It's a $5 piece of a story driven puzzler about a couple of friends who use their tree house as a boat to take them from an island to another just on a way out. This game is on both stores, plays with a controller, and is entirely a single player game. With almost 10 million downloads on the Play Store alone. Number 3, Hot Slide, is our choice as the finest and most well made top down physics based racing game ever made. Period. So, say if you grew up playing games such as Death Rally and like a lot of drifting, now one that just 10 times better in experience, you cannot go further than this. 10 out of 10, a playable both online and offline on the Google and the App Store for free all the way, and the single player we believe to be the finest part of it. Farm Sim 2024 is now available on both the Google and the App Store since yesterday and already downloaded almost 50,000 times. It's a huge game scale coming from a big driving and flying simulation games team, offering a farmer life operating just machines, tractors, combined machines, and eventually taking a crop and hard work to the market to sell them and buy better machines. This whole thing's about 300 megabytes in total and could probably use more or just a better graphic. Overall, I give it an 8 out of 10. Rated overwhelmingly positive on PCs, consoles, and now finally mobiles, if you missed it. Behind the frame, over here, is this novel-style interactive adventure puzzler. We highly suggest giving this one a shot if you're into Ghibli Studio Arts. Say you want something to relax with, with a decent music, and a whole lot of emotions involved, this game is about 2-3 to three hours long entirely, and will definitely make you cry although in a good way. You can play this one with Crunchyroll membership for free. Project Offroad 3 has been around since December, but only last week this thing came over to the West globally on the Play Store. It's a sequel to an almost perfected off-road driving simulation series of games, this time casting a wider range of cars, a day and night cycle, much better controls in fact, and a few different modes to play for fun. If you do appreciate good physics, driving mechanics, this is our finest recommendation. Now, if you're craving something fresh and you're also a fan of fighting games, well, there is no reason not to pick this one if you've got an Android phone. Monster Brawl is an almost 5 out of 5 rated first person fighting RPG shooter and a hack and slasher in a way. You can play this one both on and offline though, we highly suggest you go offline at some point, otherwise you'll get ads once every single battle ends and you don't really want that. It's a free game, about 250 megabytes in total. 
Do you feel it forever lost? Now, Glitch Games' next puzzle game, Recursion, is now available on both stores and will cost you four bucks. This is another puzzle first person point and click adventure, halfway just kind of a horror thriller, that has been made with the use of Unreal Engine and offers an original soundtrack on top of a very decent, in fact, hint system for the newcomers. This game is rated a 4.9 for a reason on the Play Store and has been purchased no more than a thousand times already. If you've already played most flight simulation games, you see at least half of them, the top tier ones, and would like some more, or something more accurate, heavily detailed, and something premium, you can now go ahead and try Aerofly FS Global, the series' new entry. It's a $3, 5 out of 5 rated controller support and offline, incredibly realistic sim game that is kind of like the Microsoft Flight Sim games in quality and has over 50 hours of replay and the whole thing is just 600 megabytes in total. Definitely a 10 out of 10. What the Car has actually been out for nearly a year now and is legitimately one of the smoothest adventure games you can still think of. It's a racing game in a way, but offers much more than just that. For example, it's a sandbox semi-open world puzzler and it can build stuff, go on adventures, fish and attach almost anything to your car for a different experience. A jetpack maybe. Legs, as you can see. This game is unfortunately on the Apple Store only and just received a huge patch. Coming to Android and iOS fully, even though it's available to pre-purchase and register right now, Skull, the Hero Slayer, is coming out fully on June 24 this year. It promises to have controller support, revamped interface for mobiles, and more. See, Hero Slayer over here has already been purchased over half a million times on Steam and other stores. It's a roguelike platform narrative that involves a lot of fighting and platforming. This game will come in two editions, one free with ads, and another one totally playable offline and will take you down about seven dollars. Gone to Sniper, on the other hand, is this low-poly sniping bullet hell shooter hybrid that offers a single-player campaign and a co-op multiplayer. This thing is downloaded almost 50 million times right now on the Play Store and has a 4.5 in rating. In fact, I've only included Gone to Sniper because I played it recently and it has a really, really good storyline and campaign. It actually just received the patch to fix a few bugs that the game was suffering before. It's free, it takes you less than 400 megabytes all the way. Nimian Legends, however, is a paid game to begin with and has been purchased no more than 5,000 times on the Play Store. Believe it or not, we'd have to think it's still one of the finest story-driven action RPGs we've ever played. It works with controllers, no Wi-Fi and a huge world with different ways to move around. Think of it as Shadow of Colossus and then Final Fantasy had a baby. Nimian Legends is the only work of its developers, its solo developer and will take you down $5. Quick mention with this one, I believe this is such a good game, it really at this point doesn't even need recognition, but Turbo Tornado here is the number one substitute we could recommend if you're done with the Corex series. It's an open world midnight driving and racing game right up there in quality with need for speed console ports, plays totally offline no more than 500 megabytes in total, and it's got some of the finest visuals on the Play Store a racing game has to offer. Available on Android and iOS at number 15, we've got here Power Lost. The reason Power Lost is in this list too is that the game was awarded recently and is now wholly playable love fun in every region. It's a absolute banger in every conceivable way if you're looking for a good action RPG, like Diablo. What's crazy is the game is coming from a solo developer and offers a higher in quality game than anything Blizzard has come up with on mobiles. 100 out of 10. Arrakis. Dune, the desert planet, 
Experience the award-winning strategy of Dune Imperium. Dune Imperium Digital is now available on mobiles, PCs, and even the Xbox consoles. Meaning, it's a Microsoft exclusive, and they did the courtesy to bring it on mobiles. Not for free, though. It's a $10 board strategy classic, part a deck building, and another part of management sim game in nature. We suggest you go for this one if it gets like 50% off. We haven't played it either, but it's said to be both an online and an offline game in nature, letting you play against other players in multiplayer. It's also then an exact video game adaptation of the Dune Imperium board game. Spice. Control the universe. In Dune. Prepared. Coming to the Google and the App Store in about three days, Howl is right now one of the most anticipated games on the horizon. Even though we came across this review like last month, it's a tactical turn-based game halfway inspired by the famous XCOM series of games, but made an entirely different setting and design, and a lot of puzzles to solve along the way. Uh, it's a good game, for some reason it'll come out as a free game on mobiles, even though it's like $10 on PCs. Profits before her. Wildlife America, on the other hand, is a sequel to Pet World, bringing lots of new species and much better visuals. And for those of you who know, this is a pet taming and vet simulation and kind of offers a lot of activities, I mean, compared to its own kind. We suggest you give this one a shot on a trip as a kid, since it's a big time consuming game and keeps you busy all along, especially if you're a big animal lover. Wildlife is a free game, of course, and offers only in app purchases for extra content. If you're keen to the Dark Riddle games, you probably have already heard the sequel was released last week. If not, well, Dark Riddle, which by the way has been downloaded like at least 50 million times since 2020, is a thrilling puzzle horror first person adventure game, quite a bit inspired by the scary teacher and the hello neighbors in pace. The sequel over here, Dark Riddle 2 Moss, is much more graphically advanced, even though they haven't released a trailer for it, although it's just one stage, but developers promise to bring much, much more. Number 20. Available globally on both the Google and the App Store if you miss out on its announcement, Special Forces Group 3 is an editor's choice. It's actually ranked as the number 2 best free FPS game on the Play Store of the month. I could almost guarantee you like it if you have any bit of interest in games such as CSGO. If you want to play something offline or online, either way, it's free, rated 4.9 out of 5, and takes you down roughly 1 gigabytes in total. No ads, no pay to win, it's all good. If you like escape room or hidden object games, uh, we suggest you pick up Ali's Adventure, Escape Room. It's one of the top five hidden object games we came across within 2024 so far, and it's from a really good developer that makes only offline games in nature. Although you could play this one online for hints and watch a couple of ads, that wouldn't really be necessary as the game is all straightforward and quite catchy. It's got a good story, a lot of puzzles, it's free all the way, and takes you about 150 megabytes and no more. And yeah, if you like match three puzzle games and would like to play something with replay offline, well, a Crit Crew is, is what you can try for free on both your Android and iOS device. It's simple, has tutorial for newcomers, pretty functional and simple puzzle game with a lot of puzzles and a lot of good designs. It's a free one, takes you roughly 200 megabytes and is rated a 4.7 out of 5. <laughs> 